Okay, so this is a series I've had on my channel for quite a while, but I think the last time I did a video like this was for Flint Fang at TLAPD last year, September, late last year. So either Adventure Quest hasn't been putting out very good boss drops, or I just haven't been doing the series, but it's back. Welcome to another boss drops video. We'll check out all the boss drops on a single boss so you guys can uh, figure out whether or not you want to farm them and what all the b drops that the boss drops. Pretty self-explanatory, really. Let's get it to the video. First things first, let's slash join the map. That is Ice Plane. So you gotta go join this map, of course, to get to the boss and run to the very, very end of the map. Now at this part, right up here, you want to make sure you stay on the path because if you fall off, uh, your character, you will get a cutscene and then you'll be put back to the start of the area. So make sure you don't fall off. Uh, don't click on the sides of that area and then go in here. Now you may have to do quests to get that to open up. I don't know. Uh, the quest line here is really, really, really short. So you should be fine uh, even if you do have to do a quest line. And I really love that lighting that they did. Uh, J6 did a really good job on this map design. So through this door. You will find the boss Enfield here. People are farming him already. Uh, that's the boss. He has not that much health. I mean, but it's probably gonna, it's of course gonna be faster to farm with a party. But it's uh, it'll be an easy solo also if you don't have people to farm with. But if you just go to the map, you'll probably find people in the map. Now that I've shown you where to farm the boss, let's take a look at the drops. First off, with the pet that the boss drops, I don't I didn't get the pet. Maybe I did. Let's just check. I farmed this boss for quite a while. I don't think I got the pet. No, I didn't. So either I said no to it or it just didn't uh, drop. But it's an AC tagged item. Legends only, which is member if you're not down with that lingo. But uh, that's what it looks like. It's just a small version of the boss. That's the only thing I'm going to be showing you off the wiki. The rest of the stuff will all be in game. Remember how two seconds ago I told you that everything else would be in game? I might have lied. So here's the Icebreaker Mage Armor in game on the female character. Of course, let's just unequip our blade there so you can see the full thing. And let's also take our helmet off like that. There we go. So it's just a normal uh, Yalgar hairstyle there and the armor. So it looks really sick on the female character. And uh, this is one of the very rare, rare armors where the male armor actually looks sluttier than the female armor. Who would have guessed? So there you go. You're showing a little bit of a little bit of skin on the male one, on the female one. And you have on the female one there's the pattern design at the bottom which looks really good. And on the male version you do not have that, even though they probably could have put it on the side there. So I don't know uh, why they I don't know who decides these. I don't know if different people design one armor for the female, one armor for the male. But it seems like they always get the female and the male armors. They look so different. Like blatantly different. There's a bunch of armors that I could show you as examples of this. But it seems like female and male armors are always so very different. Which in some circumstances makes a little bit of sense. But you know. It's a little weird where you just like you make a design like this and you don't use it on the male version but enough ranting uh, let's show you the rest of the drop so you're gonna need a helmet to go with your new armor and we have three to show you today we have the snowcat mage hair which it looks like this in your character replaces your face with what i think is using the arcane dark caster face i might be wrong it might be a mo it's, it's a modified version of that i think maybe i'm wrong uh but it looks similar and the hairstyle of course is color custom with the animated ears on there. So a female version which also replaces your face. And uh, gives you a similar sort of hairstyle. Which is also color custom of course. And if you have a membership. There is the frigid snowcat locks. Which I think there's a version that looks very similar to this in the treasure chest. I might be wrong. And of course the animated ears. I really like that they're putting effort into animating helmets. And there was an animated blade for Deja's birthday. Uh, that you can buy for ACs and like they're just putting more effort into animating items which I really appreciate and it's really awesome. Okay you're gonna need a blade to go with all the other items you got from the boss so let's check out the blades that the boss drops. Only two we have the frost slayer which looks really sick for non-members AC tagged of course so definitely worth your time to get this because you can store it in your bank for free that's why all these items are AC tagged if you're not 
in the know on that. And the Frost Slayer X for members only. I think originally this was a non-member item, but they changed it to the member only for no good reason. Probably just to make you buy a membership, I guess. Now, the only difference between this blade and the other one, uh, why it's not really a big deal that it's locked to member, uh, but when you click on it, you click right there, it has an animation on it to freeze the blade. Uh, pretty cool, but uh, is it worth buying a membership just for that? Of course not. Uh, but membership is worth it if you play the game often. But if you don't play the game often, I recommend buying ACs. But, you know, that's a topic for another video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with everything about the channel and uh, stuff with, stuff that's just going on. Uh, on Twitter, I'm pretty active. I tweet multiple times a day. Uh, so if you're not following me there, make sure you are. We're almost at 3k followers on there. Thank you guys for watching again. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Oh, and if you have some free time and you want to check out some more boss drop videos, I have a whole playlist on my channel. Check that out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Bye-bye.